yeah, it's kind of funny to think of an off season. We've had such a busy second half that you know it's it's tough to imagine that we actually have a couple months off now. But um, yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna you know spend some time. We've we've got a couple interesting products that we're coming out with that we're gonna be uh, pushing through from our race shop um, and making available to the public. So we're gonna be working hard on that, um, and uh, we're gonna be taking a look at our testing schedule, obviously, and uh, maybe looking at adding some other programs to the to the to the team. So there won't be much of an off season. Well, really, I mean, you know, we obviously at the end of this year we, we sort of take some a little bit of time off and we kind of review the year. You know, how could we improve? How could we be uh, stronger? Um, and we, we make those changes. Obviously, as, as a chassis manufacturer, Lola are constantly developing the, the package, so they're going to be bringing some updates for next year, which is exciting. Um, we'll continue to work with Dunlop and, and look at the data of this year and say, well, how can we make a better tyre to suit our car? Uh, and, and likewise with the engine, you know, where, where were we weak this year, where, what were the weak, weak links in the engine, how can we improve it? And we look at all those things, analyze the data, and hopefully come back in 2011 uh, even stronger. I think the package itself has come together very well. Um, with the Mazda engine, you know, we did a lot of work over the, um, the winter of sort of 09, uh, 2000, uh, 2010, and we made some great improvements. But um, clearly there's some more improvements to be made, and uh, that's certainly the plans for the uh, off-season. We'll be looking at a lot of things with Lola on how we can improve that. Um, also, we've got a, um, a, a tyre development um, discussion currently going on with Dunlop, and um, you know, they, they, they've got their own programme as well. We've, we've put a lot of things, we've, we've sown a lot of seeds with them over the last few months, and they're, they're, they're really sort of starting to come together with some firm ideas of what, what tyres would be for next year. So, we're going to be testing those. Um, we, we tend to, because of the, the winter weather, um, the track running is limited to largely Sebring, so we, we tend to go there in, in, in November or December and then again in January, February. So we tend to rely more on rig testing and, and stress analysis, um, software simulation. That, we sort of revert to the sort of home base stuff during the winter. Um, but uh, the, the, the engine development is, a, is an ongoing program as well, there's, there's good developments coming along there. So hopefully in February month or six weeks before Sebring, we can actually start putting all the ingredients together and start running the final package that we've come up with. But uh, like all winter development programs, they all start pretty much before the summer. You know, you have to, you have to sow all the seeds and then you, you, you reap the rewards over the winter program. Um, we won't be coming to some races for a few months, but uh, for me there's, you know, there's very, very rarely, rarely a, a, a moment off, but I think when I do have time off, I like to spend it with my family, and uh, you know we still got a couple of great weeks ahead of us uh, in, in New York for, to be on the golf course. I'm gonna try to get out and play play a few rounds. Uh, I got a busy off season actually. Um, I'm gonna have my third baby in a month's time, um, so that's gonna be pretty tiring. Um, I also do quite a lot of um, historic rallying here back in England. I have a, a Mark One Ford Escort, so I do a lot of rallying in the forests, um, and I've got quite a few rallies planned between now and Christmas. So. Um, I'll certainly be keeping pretty busy and no doubt uh, be looking forward to some, some rest come the uh, beginning of the year. Uh, I don't know really, I mean I always take a few weeks off at Christmas time and, and have a bit of downtime but obviously I want to be racing as much as I can for now and, and I think it, it, there's, there's some winter races obviously back in, in, in Europe which I might be trying to do and, uh, but I think it's, it's, it really depends on the programme for next year but certainly a little holiday to, to have a bit of downtime. We got a lot of work to do over the winter. Uh, it really never ends. It used to end uh, when I used to race uh, long ago. It used to end in October, and you started thinking about the car just in time for the early season races. Uh, you know, two months later. Now that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, once the flag drops here, we go back. The guys take two days off the shop. We go back to work, and we start going back to testing. So it never ends, and uh, that's actually one of the attractions to it. So if you had an extra day and the 365 year allotted, we'd take it.